<laughs> Today, I will show you how to become a sampling god using Serato Sample 2.0. Them stems about to hit different. So the first tip is kind of obvious. Select a good sample. I mean, duh, right? But some people will select any kind of sample and think that they are going to make a massive hit with it. I'm just deep being dead serious. So I'm just gonna show you how I just grab sample and drag it into Serato Sample 2.0. And I'll talk more about the sample. The link, it will be linked in the description box. And it's pretty decent. I mean, I would say that's a pretty dope sample. Yeah. So there are different ways that you can chop up a sample. The main one that I like to use is random chopping. And I showed that in my last video. As I always do it, you can just set the random and then you can get all your chops in there. As I'm just going through the keyboard right now showing all the chops the other way that you can chop up samples is pretty simple and make sure that you use the undo button when you don't like something or whatnot and that will remove everything but you also can manual chop too so manual chopping is pretty easy all you have to do is just hit a key on your keyboard or whatnot and then you'll manually put in a chop and if you want to adjust it you can always adjust the nodes over here so if i wanted to do like this chop right here. I can just move it over and it's already moved over or whatnot to the very beginning of the sample. Now, one thing I will want you to make a good practice of is using this feature right over here where it is hold and play through. So when you go to play through mode, it will allow you to chop stuff up manually. So you just place it on your keys and you can always uh, get a deeper look at your sample by hitting the plus and minus sign over here. And I can get a clear and concise way to chop. It is also worth noting that you can reverse a chop or all your chops at once. It is as simple as selecting the chop that you want, like this first chop, and then going to reverse. But you got to keep in mind that if there's nothing in front of it, that you won't get that chop to reverse. So what I do is I select the second one and then I go back to the first one, unselect that. And now you have reverse chops. It's worth noting that you can also time stretch individual chops as well. Like for instance, this chop right here has that weird little drop part. Maybe I do like that drop part, but maybe not as fast. I would just go over here to time stretch and then I would just choose like half. And you can hear that it kind of smoothed it out. But if I wanted to go a little bit slower. And that actually just helps with the process of just chopping your sample and getting full control over your idea. But what I end up doing is just going select all, which is another good tip. And then I'll just delete all my chops. And then I will go to set random and make sure that I set all my chops randomly. And it's just something I like doing. Setting random is pretty dope because it helps with you getting ideas out the way. Maybe you just wanna chop up samples or something like that. It is also just a way to this experiment beyond what you would probably do normally. Now we should talk about the elephant in the room right here, which is the Serato stems feature that is added to Serato sample 2.0. So in the very beginning of the track, there is a little bit of a sparkly sound, which is, I don't know what the name of the instrument, but it can be removed because it's a part of percussion and you won't hear it anymore. So if you didn't want that sparkle sound in your sample, you can remove it by using the stems. Also, if I was to remove all the elements except for one, you can hear something else, which is the vocal. So maybe you just wanna work with the vocal instead of just working with the overall melodic tones of the sample. It is quite possible to do that because of stems. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the chops in this track, and then we'll talk more about some other dope features.
say that you don't like the tone of the overall sample. Well, yes, you can affect the tone of the sample. It's a no brainer thing to do. You would just go over here to the key section and you would just select whatever key that you want the sample to be in that's available. So if we're playing the track itself and we want to work with this part right here and now I can drop it to a F minor instead of an F sharp minor. And if I wanted to go to like an E minor or something like that, you could do that. And I want to let it play. And having the scale information is a huge plus because it can translate to gear that you already have. For example, I had the Novation FL Key 37, which allows for scale locking. And all I had to do is just press shift and the scale button and then select an F minor. And now I'm locked into an F minor. And then your melody, chord progression, bass line writes itself. And if you're using a competent DAW like FL Studio 21.1, then you have scales built inside of it. For an example, I can just go into FL Studio and then just go into Piano Roll. And from Piano Roll, I can just set up just by right clicking and then just set up an F minor. It's already an F natural minor right now. And then I can just grab a ninth chord or whatnot, a minor ninth. And then I will just drop it into the respectful category and drag it on over and so forth. And if I want to mess with arpeggios, I can mess with arpeggios and Make sure that I have scale mode on or whatnot. And yeah, it's just a whole bunch you could do. You could just flip it and then just play it and see if it works for you or whatnot. And if it doesn't work, you can always just start all over. And that'll work for right now. A question someone asked me in the last video is, can it play melodic tones? Like, can it play like one shots or can you play a sample without chopping it up? And the answer is yes. So I have this sample right here and I have it linked in the description box so you know where it's coming from. And what I'll do is just hit uh, one instance of Serato at the end so I have a endpoint. And what I'll do is engage this keyboard sign which will engage playing it melodically. And just like anything else, when you pull it in the Serato sample, you get all of the other features and stems and stuff like that. But what I'll do is I'll just do some stuff like maybe I want it to have a slower attack, a longer release, maybe I want it to glide, and so forth. Uh, you can do that now, just the level of it so you can hear it. which is also accomplished that way. And yeah, you can key shift just in case it's not in key after the fact that you see that the key is there. Make sure to check us out at 16levels.com as we are celebrating the 50 year anniversary of hip hop as we should. You can get 50% off orders using the code 50 hip hop. If you check us out at the shop all section right here, then you can see all of the new stuff and you can also check out all the stuff that is best selling as well. Visit our category so you can see all the sounds that we have because we have preset banks, sample packs and more. Don't forget about our courses as well as we have MPC masterclasses and 16 level university. Also, we teamed up with Novation to give away one FL key mini and also this big mama jammer right here, which is the FL key 49. All you have to do to enter the contest is sign up for our mailing list at 16 levels.com. It will pop up and all you have to do is sign up and you will get a free MIDI kit as well or a sample pack, whatever happens at that time. However, make sure that you do not reply to anybody in the comment section that might have Ab McCree or 16 levels or whatnot. I'm the only Ab McCree. I don't have a telegram or any of that other scam stuff that people are doing. I'm trying to protect my audience from all of that BS because I know people will try to take advantage of that. So make sure that if it's Ab McCree that it has a verification check by it because that is me. I am him. And there's no pressure if you don't want to be a part of the mailing list or anything like that, because all we do is just 
Make sure that you know about the new stuff that we have added to 16levels.com. You can unsubscribe at any time. I promise you, no blood will be exchanged. To the right of me, I have more content for that ass. Make sure that you subscribe. What do you think about these tips? Are you better at Serato Sample now? What do you think about Serato Sample 2.0 and them stems? Oh yeah, I bet you enjoy it a lot. Well, at least I do. It's fine.